Did you know that the Amityville house is one of the most investigated haunted houses in America? It's had more than 100 paranormal investigations since the infamous murders took place. The Amityville murders, which occurred on November 13, 1974, are still widely discussed today, and the haunting legacy that followed continues to fascinate us. But behind the paranormal activity, there's a more sinister and darker story, one that involves a family, the DeFeos, and their brutal murder. The central mystery surrounding the Amityville murders is whether Don DeFeo, the eldest daughter, was guilty of her family's murder. This is a question that has been debated for decades, with some believing she was responsible, while others think she was an innocent bystander. But what evidence supports or contradicts this claim? That's what we're going to dive into today. One of the key pieces of evidence that points to Dawn's potential guilt is her unusual behavior in the days leading up to the murders. Friends and family members reported that she was acting strangely, saying things like, my family's going to die and I'm going to die too. These statements, of course, can be interpreted in many ways, but they do raise some red flags. Another piece of evidence is Dawn's own testimony, which has been called into question multiple times. She claimed to have been in her bedroom when the murders occurred, but some of the details in her story didn't quite add up. For example, she said she heard nothing, despite the fact that the shots were loud enough to wake up the neighbors. Additionally, there were some inconsistencies in Dawn's alibi. She claimed to have been in her bedroom the entire time, but a friend who was with her earlier that evening reported that Dawn left the house for a short period. Was this just a mistake on Dawn's part, or was she trying to cover something up? The DeFeo family was a complex and troubled one with a history of domestic violence and substance abuse. On the night of the murders, there was a sense of tension in the air, with Ronald DeFeo, the father, getting into an argument with his son, Butch. Dawn's behavior that night has been described as erratic and disturbing, with some even saying she seemed to be in a trance-like state. The events of that fateful night are still unclear, but one thing is certain. The DeFeo family was plagued by psychological issues. Dawn's behavior, in particular, has been attributed to a traumatic event in her childhood, which may have contributed to her instability. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence pointing to Dawn's guilt is a statement made by her own brother, Butch. In a confession, he claimed that Dawn was involved in the murders, saying Dawn was with me when we killed our family. However, it's worth noting that Butch later recanted the statement, saying it was coerced by the police. Another piece of evidence is a cryptic note found in Dawn's journal, which reads, I'm going to get them. While this could be interpreted as a threat against her family, it's also possible that it was just a teenage girl's dramatic expression of frustration. Furthermore, there were reports of Dawn being seen arguing with her family members in the days leading up to the murders. While this doesn't necessarily mean she was guilty, it does suggest that there was tension in the household. Revealing these findings and insights has been a journey, and I want to summarize the key points we've discussed today. While there is no conclusive evidence that proves Dawn DeFeo's guilt, there are certainly some suspicious circumstances surrounding her behavior. What do you think? Was Dawn DeFeo guilty of her family's murder, or was she an innocent bystander? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested in more true crime mysteries, be sure to check out my video on the haunted history of the Amityville House. Thanks for watching.